Good morning. Good morning. Uh, praise God for uh, another Friday that uh, we have right now. And thank God for the Friday school. This is the time where we can really study the word. Uh, and, uh, you can participate by questioning or by uh, giving some of your uh, what you have learned. And for today, we will be starting a new uh, study. We have a new topic for for today. So this is our first Friday school uh, schedule in our group. So we will be studying now the book of Proverbs. Okay, the book of Proverbs. Uh, we, they said that the book of Proverbs is a book of wisdom. Okay. Marami dito mga masyadong matalinghaga or mga malalalim na, na uh, salita Read God uh, who, who wrote the book of Proverbs by the way? Who wrote the book of Proverbs? King Solomon Okay, so who is King Solomon? He is the wisest king, right? I think he's the wisest man whoever lived on the earth. So, that's why yung, yung book of Proverbs is a very, uh, really, really very deep but very meaningful and there are some, uh, 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 when you say Proverbs, mga short uh, instructions or short passages uh, wherein uh, uh, if you will look deep into it, there's really a big or there's a meaning uh, uh, on it. So, Proverbs is, uh, as, as we have said, uh, written by by King Solomon, okay? And this is what we have, we will be studying for a for, uh, day. So, everybody has a program. Okay, so look at your program and we will fill it, fill it out, all the blanks on this, uh, uh, the outline. Ito yung magiging uh, lesson natin for today. I don't know how we can, uh, how can I, you know, compress because it's a very long lesson, but we'll try to finish it uh, today, okay? So there are, there are several topics. We will not be studying Proverbs. Uh, chapter by chapter, but by by topic, there are ten. Actually, there are ten uh, main emphasis on the book of Proverbs. Okay, so expect we will be having a series of uh, lessons in the book of Proverbs for ten consecutive Fridays. Okay, and our first study we will be emphasizing on the fear of the Lord. Okay. We will be emphasizing in the fear of the Lord. So our top, uh, topic or our study, our title for today's uh, Bible study is Living in the Fear of the Lord. If you have your handouts, okay, let us open your let us open our Bible, which is can be found in uh, Proverbs 1 7, our key verse. Okay, and let us read all together. Can we let us all stand up? And let us read all together Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Okay, this is our key verse for, for today's lesson. Okay, are you there? Yes. Let us read all together chapter 1 of Proverbs, verse 7. Start. The fear of the Lord is the feeling of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Let us say a little uh, short prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord God, for this uh, opportunity that we can study again your words, uh, particularly the book of Proverbs. Give us wisdom, Lord, that we may know <coughs> what you want us to know for, for today, Lord. Uh, may, you, may your holy name be glorified and uh, magnified. In Jesus' Lord, most precious name we pray. Amen. So what, uh, like what I have said uh, earlier, we will be studying the book of Proverbs based on uh, on, a, on topic. Okay, so our topic for tonight is 
regarding fear of the Lord. Okay? In this first study of the selected themes from the book of Proverbs, we will consider the main emphasis of the book. Okay, the main emphasis of the book, which is the fear of the Lord. Okay. We come across this phrase or variations of it over and over again. So if you will read the book of Proverbs, you will read, you will uh, notice that there is, uh, you will read oftentimes the word or the phrase, fear of the Lord. Okay? We come across this phrase or variations of it over and over again in the book of Proverbs and throughout the scripture. In our key verse, which we have read earlier, for example, which is a point of departure for this subject. Okay? Let's, uh, we'll read it again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay? But the fools despise wisdom and instructions. Okay? Based on this key verse that we just read, okay, there are two uh, classes of people that are mentioned. There are two classes of people that are mentioned. The first part, it said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay? Those are, uh, those people who fear the Lord, what we call now, those are the believers. Those are the saved people. Okay? And the second phrase, which means, which says, uh, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. The fools, this emphasizes those who do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, those unsaved or those unbelievers. So there are two classes of people that are mentioned in our keepers, the unbeliever and the saved. Okay? So let us uh, make a, a short uh, 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 study about what fear of the Lord is. Okay? There are several uh, uh, verses here which uh, I will just uh, uh, say to you, okay, in, in relation to our main topics, okay. First is, we can found in Deuteronomy chapter 9, uh, chapter 5, verse 29, which God says, God longs that we should fear Him. So, God longs that we should fear Him. It can, it can be found in Deuteronomy 5, 29. Let us read, okay? This is just for uh, an example. Deuteronomy 5.29, okay? 5.29, the Bible said, okay? Oh, that there, oh, that there were such an heart in them that they would fear me and keep all my commandments always that it might be well with them and with their children forever. God longs that we should fear Him, okay? And in Deuteronomy 6.24, to fear God, to fear Him, will always be for our own good. Okay? Deuteronomy 6.24, which says, And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God, for our good always, that He might preserve us alive as, he, as it is at this day. Okay? Fearing the Lord is always for our own good. Okay, in Proverbs 23, 17, it is possible to fear the Lord, okay, all the time. Okay, it's not like, it's not just uh, in the purpose that we should fear Him, but we should fear Him all the time. In Proverbs 23, 17, we should fear God all the time. And we can do it in, as, as what we have, uh, as what Proverbs 23, 17 has stated. Okay, and in Genesis 22, verse 12, Okay, what is the key uh, uh, proof that we fear God? It says in Genesis 22, 12, when, 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 uh, what's this? When, when Abraham offered his son Isaac, okay, to God, okay, uh, this manifest that uh, Abraham feared God, okay, through his obedience. Okay, through his obedience. So meaning, obedience is the proof of fearing the Lord. Okay? One proof that you fear God is through your obedience. Okay? And in Acts 9.31, okay, 
in chapter 9 verse 31 of Acts church members church members should fear the Lord okay Acts 9:31 in the uh, in the New Testament and in Proverbs 12:13 those who fear the Lord are rewarded okay those who fear the Lord are rewarded. Heavenly rewards and earthly rewards. We are being blessed. Okay? And in, and in Psalms 112 verse 1, this is the key. Uh, this is one, uh, this is the major uh, uh, reason. Okay? Or, or this is one of the, you can say, uh, reason that we should fear God because when we fear God, okay, God will bless us. Okay, ask in Psalms 112, verse 1. Let me read it. Psalms 112, verse 1. Okay, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. So, this is the, the secret of blessings, fearing God. Okay, so now we will be studying what what fear really means okay what fear of the lord really means okay but what is the what is to fear the lord okay but what is what is it to fear the lord okay is it to be afraid of god is fearing the lord the same as you are we are afraid of god okay and the answer is no it's a big no okay it is not a slavish fear or apprehension or fear to do with punishment okay it is not uh, something to do with punishment it is not something to do with apprehension let us check first john chapter 4 verse 16 what it said first john chapter 4 verse 18 okay 4 18 okay there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Okay? And in 1 Timothy 1 7, 2 Timothy 1 7, 2 Timothy verse 1 verse, chapter 1 verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Okay? So, uh, this is not something, uh, fear of the Lord is not something that uh, you are afraid of. Okay? Or something you are afraid of punishment or apprehension. It's not, the fear of the Lord is not, uh, it's not associated with terror or with suspicion. Or this is not the kind of fear which makes man run and hide from God or an act of being enslaved. Okay? Uh, what did Adam and Eve in the Manila when they sin? They hide, they run away from God. Okay? Because they are afraid. This is not the kind of fear that should manifest or what God is asking from us. Okay? It's not something to do with with uh, 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 afraid or something to do with punishment or okay? this is a more deep. Okay, uh, fearing the Lord is associated with with love and with deep respect or reverence. Okay? This is what uh, this is the kind of uh, uh, this is the fear of the Lord means. Associated with, with with God, with deep respect or reverence. Okay, just like for example, uh, uh, when you have a deep respect or reverence, a deep respect to a person. Okay, or you love and you have a deep respect to a person, you will not do something that will hurt him or will hurt her or will discourage her, right? So this is something uh, we can we can compare, okay, with the kind of the uh, respect or fear of the Lord is. This is what kind. Of, uh, this is the kind of uh, uh, fear that God is asking, okay. 
with something to do with love, with deep respect or reverence. Okay? It is the fear of the Lord is the fear of a loving child or a dutiful servant. Okay? Fear of the Lord is the fear of a loving child or a dutiful servant. It is such a reverence for God that the one who fears Him is gripped by a holy desire to please Him. Okay? If you fear the Lord, if you have a deep respect and reverence and love in the Lord, your, your, your intention is always to please Him. Just like uh, our spouses, our, our, our uh, partner in life. Okay? We, we have a big respect and we love with our partners. All we have to do, or we all we have, uh, yung gusto natin laging gawin is always to please Him or to please Her. This is what also God is asking from us. Okay? This is the gift of the Lord. And the best way to see that it means to fear, to fear the Lord, to see what people who fear the Lord are, and to discover the results of fearing the Lord, we will be uh, uh, tackling the seven major uh, points in our outline. Okay? So we now go to our main, top, our main points. Okay? What? really means to fear the Lord. Okay, first is when a man when a man fears the Lord, when a man fears the Lord, it implies that he has started to know the Lord. Okay? When a man fears the Lord, it implies that he has started to know the Lord. Okay? Fear begins, okay, starts when you first know the Lord. Okay? Kasi noon before that we are still uh, unbelievers, wala tayong takot. There is no fear in the Lord. Okay? It starts when we know the Lord. Okay? But, okay, knowing the Lord, okay, not just about Him, is a matter of degree. What I mean is, each one of us, okay, knows the Lord but in a different degree, okay, different level, okay. Of course, those that are new in the faith, they knew little about God, okay. So there's a, there's a degree. We may know Him a little, or we may know Him very well, okay. And it close in a very personal way. It depends on the individual, okay. A man only begins to fear God when he starts to know him. Okay? When he starts to know him. Fear, fear of God starts or begins when we start to know him. And it will uh, grow as we grow also in our faith. Okay? When a man realizes who God is and what his attitude is toward all people, then he begins to fear the Lord. Okay? So, kung kaano mo kakilala in your own personal way, how you know God, okay, this also directly uh, uh, this, uh, proportioning, okay, to your fear to the Lord. Okay? If your faith, you know how much, how, you know this much, the Lord, okay? And your fear should also be on this much, on this level. As it grows, your fear of the Lord also grows. Okay? So, it, that's why different level on each individual. Okay? Now, there are things, this very important to notice that fear of the Lord, okay, first, it should be sought. Let us open our Bible in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 29 and 30. So, yung fear of the Lord, hindi lang siya basta dumarating sa atin. Okay? Okay? Fear of the Lord, it does, it does, not, it does not come just, uh, you know, automatic. Okay? That your fear of the Lord will increase automatically without doing anything. It's not. Okay? says in the Bible, in Proverbs chapter 1, 
chapter 1, 29 to 30. But they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Okay? First is the fear of the Lord has to be sought. Has to be sought. Not only to be sought, but it has to be learned. In Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 10. Okay? Not only to be sought, but it has to be learned also. Or then. Okay? Deuteronomy 4, 10. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me, the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. Okay, so how you, how can you uh, uh, increase your fear in the Lord? Okay, you have to learn, you have to study, you have to hear. Okay, this is uh, how we can increase the fear in the Lord. First, it must be sought, it must be learned, and there must be a desire. There must be a desire to, to, each, uh, to each individual. If there is no desire for you to, to learn or to have fear of the Lord, then it will not come to you. Your fear of the Lord will never will not increase. Okay? It should be sought. It should be learned. It sh there should be a desire. Okay? And it requires obedience. It requires obedience. Okay? If you want to to increase your fear of the Lord, first you have to solve it, you have to learn, you have to study, you have to hear the word, third, you have to have a desire, and fourth, you have you need to be obedient to the word of God. Okay? So that is the first point. When a man fears the Lord, it implies that he has started to know the Lord. Okay? If you doesn't know the Lord, then there is no fear in the Lord. Amen? Is it right? So, the fear of the Lord begins okay, when you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. But it will never increase your fear of the Lord if you will never sought it, if you will never, if you will not learn, if you will never learn from it, you will not obey it, or if there is no desire in you. Okay? You have to work it out. Okay? You have to work it. Same as our faith. You have to work out your faith. Okay? Same as your faith increases, your fear of the Lord increases. Amen? Amen. Let's go to the second point. Uh, when a man, when a man fears the Lord, he will turn from sin and live a holy life. Okay. So the next succeeding uh, uh, points are, you know, very uh, uh, familiar or alamin na po ito. When a man fears the Lord, he will turn from sin and live a holy life. Okay? In, in Proverbs 3, 7, let us read at least one verse. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. Okay? In Proverbs 3, 7, just by what I read, and Proverbs 8, 13, Proverbs 14, 2, 16, 6, and in Psalms, Psalms 99, all these references make it clear that when anyone is, uh, if, when anyone really learns the fear of the Lord, his whole manner of life is affected. Okay? When we learn <coughs> to fear the Lord, our life is changed. Okay? Our life will be changed. Okay? This includes the way he dresses, talks, spends his money, spending our time, what he hears, the places we go, the pleasures we seek, and the books we read. Okay? Even the friends we have. Okay? So, when we start to fear the Lord, we will turn away from sin and we will live a holy life. Okay? There 
there is a change in our life. Okay? When a man fears the Lord, he will turn from sin and live a holy life. Okay? This is our second point. So, fearing God will change our life. If there is no change in your life, you, you still go to the places where you used to go, you still do things that you used to do, then there might be a question in your life. First, you don't, you don't fear God because you really don't know God. Okay? So, it will manifest. Our fear of the Lord will manifest in our life. There should be change. Okay? That's our second point. First point is when a man fears the Lord, it implies that he has started to know the Lord. Second is when a man fears the Lord, he will turn from sin and live a holy life. Third is when a man fears the Lord, he is filled with deep assurance. Okay? This is what we needed. Okay. When a man fears the Lord, he is filled with deep assurance. Okay, let me read Proverbs 14.6. 14.26, I mean. 14.26, In the fear of the Lord is his strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Okay. It's a very nice verse, right? In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge okay a man when a man fears the lord he is filled with deep assurance okay we are secured we have uh, we are holding to the promises of god okay one reason for the confidence that is gained by fearing the lord is that the one who fears him lives on a very intimate and personal terms and in close fellowship with the Lord. Okay? Intimate, personal, and close fellowship with the Lord. This is what we need to do. Okay? To have an intimate, close, and personal fellowship with the Lord. Okay? This makes him sure, this makes him sure of birth of God's protection. Every day we pray, right? We are asking for God's protection. Just 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 a few minutes ago when we are driving going here the church, okay? In in uh, in, in 22nd Avenue, 27th uh, of the Bradis. We are going to bed. 80, as, as, as the limit, as the speed limit, we're going on 80 kilometers per hour. Then suddenly, some, one car cut us. Okay? Yeah. I think less than 6 inches, we will be hit. Okay? This passing, this driving too, too fast. More than, more than 100, more than 120. Okay? So, God's protection is in us. Okay? Well. When we have a close, personal, and intimate fellowship with the Lord, God's protection is in us. Okay? This is the deep assurance that God is giving us. Okay? Not only, not only protection, okay? His provision. Only, not only God's protection, but also God's provision. Okay? God will supply all our needs. Okay? He will provide everything that we need. Okay? All we need to do is just to put our trust, our faith in Him. He makes sure of, of God's protection, of God's provision, and God's purpose in our life. Okay? We should always pray, God, what is your purpose in me? Why am I here? Okay. What am I doing here? What is your purpose in me? Okay. God will show you His purpose if you have an intimate, personal, and close fellowship with Him. Okay. But if you doesn't know until now what is your purpose, why you are here, then start praying. Start having a close fellowship with Him. Maybe you are not hearing His word or His, His purpose to you. Okay? So, his protection, 
His provision and His purpose. When we fear the Lord, we are led into a full assurance of faith. Okay? We are led into a full assurance of faith and we know that our sins are forgiven. Okay? Sometimes we, we lose our assurance of, of salvation, but not our salvation. Okay? Sometimes doubts come, okay? because this is the work of the enemy, but if you have a close, intimate, and personal fellowship with the Lord, okay, your, assur your salvation or your assurance of salvation will never be questioned. Amen. Okay? So next, we go to the fourth point. Okay? I still have 15 minutes. Good. When a man fears the Lord, he experiences true joy and satisfaction. When a man fears the Lord, he experiences true joy and satisfaction. Okay? This is our lesson in our uh, Bible study. Okay? The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay? You can only have the fruit of the Holy Spirit if the Holy Spirit is in you. Okay? When a man fears the Lord, he experiences true joy and satisfaction. Okay? Let us read third, uh, Proverbs 13.13. Proverbs 13, 13 Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Okay? So, those uh, uh, Proverbs 13, 13, Proverbs 20 to 4, and Proverbs 20, 14, you can read it uh, uh, later when you have your uh, personal devotion. Uh, even though a man is poor in a worldly in a worldly sense, okay. Even though a man is poor in a worldly sense, if he fears the Lord, he will be wonderfully rich and full, and truly satisfied. Okay. So this is what we needed. Okay. This is what we needed. Okay. Satisfaction in the world never satisfies. Okay? Rich people want to be richer. Right? Those that are in power tries to have more power. Okay? But we, when we fear the Lord, whatever we have, we are satisfied. There is a true joy in us because we know one thing that we should be learned is we should learn to be content. Amen. Okay? We should learn to be content. Because God provides. Okay? When the man who fears God has immense satisfaction and joy in knowing all, in knowing that all is well. Okay? And not only for time, but for eternity. Okay, this is what we should always be uh, thinking of. Yung, yung eternity. Because yun yung riches natin. We may not have the material things here right now, but the gift of eternal life. Yun yung riches natin. Right? So when you fear the Lord, you will have a true joy and satisfaction in your life. While while on while here. That's why we need to fear the Lord. Okay? No need to worry. Okay? No need to worry. Sabi nga ni Pastor is concern. Concern lang. Okay? Concern lang. Okay? No need to worry. That's what uh, we have studied earlier. God's protection. God's provision. Okay? Meron pa bang mas sinigit na mayaman sa ating Diyos? Right? You, whatever we, whatever na meron tayo, this is all sa Panginoon. And He can give, Man, right. truly, He can give plenty or abound, uh, abundantly material things if He wants to. Okay? If God wants you, if God wants, uh, let's say, Brother Bernard to give Him 
10 million dollars, God can provide. God right. can do things. Diba? But we should also know that we have uh, everything God is in control. God knows what will uh, well God knows what is, what is in us today and what will be in the future. Okay? All we need to do is to trust Him. Okay? When a man fears the Lord, he experiences true joy and satisfaction. Okay? Let's go to the next point. Are you following? Are you filling out the blanks? Okay? Okay, let's make a review. First is, when a man fears the Lord, it implies that he has started to know the Lord. Okay? When a man fears the Lord, he will turn from sin and live, as, and live a holy life. When a man fears the Lord, he is filled with deep assurance. When a man fears the Lord, he experiences true joy and satisfaction. Next point. If, when a man fears the Lord, he will reap the benefits of a disciplined life. We all need this. A disciplined life. Okay? What does it mean? Proverbs 10, 27. 10, 27. The fear of the Lord prolonged days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. In Proverbs 10, 27, 14, 27, 19, 23, and Ecclesiastes 8, 12 to 30. Okay? This is our reference. How logical all this is. If we are disciplined, getting the right amount of rest, food, sleep, and exercise, serving others, and above all, giving the Lord His rightful place and time, we shall be freed from anxiety and we shall live out our appointed span. Okay. This is... Uh, Ganda to, ah. Okay? Disciplined life. Uh, never abuse yourself. Right. Okay? Never abuse yourself. Okay? Sabi dito, if we are disciplined, getting the right amount of rest, what is the, uh, what is the right amount of rest? <laughs> Eight hours of sleep. Is this enough? Brother Ronald Robert, where are you? Five <laughs> 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 hours? <laughs> so, right amount of rest, food, we should take the right food, okay? sleep and exercise, serving others, and above all, giving the, love, giving the Lord this rightful place. Okay. This is one uh, uh, thing that we should be considering. Living a disciplined life. When we fear God, uh, discipline should be manifest in our life. Okay. Should manifest in our life. We shall be freed. We shall be free from anxiety. Okay. But it doesn't mean that hindi na tayo magkakasakit. Right? Sometimes God uses your illness or your sick to, you know, to uh, uh, to remind us. Okay? To remind us. Okay? But we should always take care of our body, of ourselves. Okay? Huwag tayo maging mag-shadow over, over fatigue. Okay? Uh, we spend, we spend uh, 16 or 18 hours working. 2 hours of rest. Okay? And almost no hour for the Lord. That's not balance. Okay? We should live a discipline and a balanced life. Okay? When we fear God, we should live a, 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 a discipline and a balanced life. Let's go to the number six. Five minutes. When a man fears the Lord, he will serve him wholeheartedly. When a man fears the Lord, he will serve him wholeheartedly. Okay? Psalms 2, 
Psalms uh, chapter 2 verse 11, Second Chronicles 19, 7 to 9, Hebrews 11, 16, It is to be in the service of God and to be humbly waiting on Him for His guidance and empowering. This is what it means to serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Okay? So, ulit ito ha. What an amazing thing it is to be in the service of God. Okay? Then, let us ask ourselves, are we in the service of God? Are we in the service of the Lord? Are we serving the Lord? Okay? Sabi, what an amazing thing is it to be in the service of God and to be humbly waiting on Him for His guidance and empowering. Okay? So, God will guide us. God will empower us. Okay? And this is what it means to serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Okay? The first question is, are we serving God? Okay? When we have when we have the fear of the Lord, okay, we can serve the Lord wholeheartedly. Okay? Parang ano na sayo, it's normal. Okay? Parang you long for you long for it. You want to serve the Lord. You want to be uh, you want to be in the ministry. Okay? But if you don't have the fear of the Lord, you will not be in the ministry. Parang, wala lang, okay lang. You just know Him. Okay? But once your, your fear of the Lord increases, you want to involve yourself in the service of the Lord. And you and you feel to yourself that you're doing, you're serving the Lord with His guidance and with His empowering, with His empowerment. Okay? So, have you experienced it? When you serve the Lord, there's joy. Hindi ka napipilitan. When you sing in the choir, right? You sing in the choir because you feel the joy. You feel that God is giving you, you know, in satisfaction to serve Him. Hindi, hindi ka napipilitan. This is what the fear of the Lord, uh, this is the product of the fear of the Lord. Okay? Serving the Lord wholeheartedly. And the last point is, when a man fears the Lord, he will be like the Lord Jesus Himself. This is all our desire. This is God's desire for us to be like Jesus. Okay? Alam natin, alam niyo yung kantang to be like Jesus? To be like Jesus, to be like Jesus, all I want is to be like Him. Go through life's journey from dust to glory. All I want is to be like Him. I hope this is also our desire to be like Jesus. But you can only be like Jesus when you fear Him. When there is when there is a deep love and respect in our in the Lord Jesus Christ. So, let us, uh, for those who have uh, missed some blanks, this is a recap. When a man fears the Lord, it implies that he has started to know the Lord. Second, when a man fears the Lord, he will turn from sin and live a holy life. When a man fears the Lord, he is filled with deep assurance. When a man fears the Lord, he experiences true joy and satisfaction. When a man fears the Lord, he will reap the benefits of a disciplined life. When a man fears the Lord, he will serve him full heartedly. And last, when a man fears the Lord, he will be like the Lord Jesus himself. Okay? So, so thank you very much. That is our Friday school. And expect nine more, nine more Fridays that we will be studying the book of Proverbs. Not chapter by chapter, but as per team. Okay? For today's team, is fear of the Lord. Expect another team for next Friday. But it's all been in the book of Proverbs. Thank you.